Hello everyone. I recently bought a new macro lens and I was experimenting with shooting a small cactus. And even though I shot this cactus at f22, I wasn't able to get the full depth in the shot. So the front of the cactus is in sharp focus and the back is not. So what I decided to do was a focus stack. I took two images, one for the front of the cactus and one for the back of the cactus, and then I would blend them together in Photoshop. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that in Photoshop. And it's really quite simple as long as you have some decent files to work with. So let's head over to the computer and do that now. As you can see on this image, if I zoom in, I focused on the front. And as I said, I was at f22, so I do have some detail in the mid-range. But if we look in the background, all of the spines in the back are out of focus. To fix this, I took a second shot and I focused on the back. Here you can see all the spines in the back are nicely in focus. So all I have to do is blend the two images together. Right now I'm in Lightroom, so I'm just selecting the two images. I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to go to Edit In and then Open as Layers in Photoshop. If you're not using Lightroom, you can open it directly in Photoshop as layers as well. Okay, once the layers are open, I have to select both layers. So I'm going to click on one layer and then control click on the other layer. Now that both layers are selected, I need to make sure both of them are exactly aligned. So I have to come up to Edit, then down to Auto Align Layers, and I can leave it on Auto and then just say OK. And Photoshop will take a few seconds and we'll put those layers in the right position to blend them together. All right, when that's done and the layers are aligned, I'm just going to now blend the two photos together. So I'm going to come up to Edit and then to Auto Blend Layers. And then I'm going to choose Stack Images. And make sure Content Aware Fill is not checked. And you can leave seamless tones and colors checked. And then I'm going to say OK. And you'll see that it'll process that. When you're done, you'll see that it added two masks. And if you want to see how it blended together, I'm just going to use the little magnifier tool and zoom in a little bit. And then I'll take the eyeball off. You can see that it's using all of the background which was in focus from one of the layers and then it's using the first image that I took for the foreground because the front spines were in focus and you could do this with as many layers as you want so if you have a deeper object you could just shoot more layers and combine them together it just takes a little bit of practice and not everyone comes out exactly right until you get used to it but it's a very powerful technique. I'll put a link to these files so that you can try this for yourself. 